Cooking off, look, it's just not burnt at all. How easy is that going to be to clean afterwards? Well, greetings everybody. So I find myself in an area that I've never been to and that I'm not supposed to be in. I was driving out to a location. We were going to do an outdoor cook, driving along the road there and I saw a red kite. It's a bird, bird of prey. They used to be uh, here in great numbers and then they were extinct and now they're back. And with the autumn color, I thought, oh, that'll make a great shot. So I got out the camera, started filming it and then uh, it stopped recording. And I was trying to figure out what's going on. I don't know what it was. I, I put a memory card into the computer to have a look at some old videos and the memory card's full. And then uh, um, I pressed play on the camera to try and maybe delete one of the videos, but I couldn't, so the memory card's full. So I've left the camera back in the car there. I'm not going out to the location I was going into because there's no guarantee the video will make it with this uh, phone. So just using the mobile phone. I've tried it before, it didn't work, but I'll try it again. So I've stopped a sort of a lay-by area, found this woodland here, and I thought I'll go and try and find a spot to go and cook in. And we'll see if it works. If not, it's okay. So it was kind of it's unlucky and lucky as well that I saw the red kite because I still another half hour, 45 minutes of driving. I would have got out to the location and couldn't have done the video as planned anyway. So we'll do an impromptu thing, see how we go. I'm going to have to hold the phone, one hand, cooking again. But yeah, thanks for joining me. this area will do the regeneration of some pine trees there and they've obviously been logging in here and I think we can use that as a, a platform to put the firebox stove on we've got a yeah, alcohol burner today so I've got some pretty cool views here for myself it's October, so it's vegetarian month, various parts of the world, and I'm doing that with the wife, and so we'll be having a vegetarian dish today. It was going to be decadent scrambled eggs, but I really need the camera to, to film that. I'll still cook them the way I was going to, but it's just not going to be how I intended. So I've got some hash browns and some vegetarian sausages as well, but I'm just about set up. So here's the setup. So we're going to get some fuel on the go. I have a favorite chicken that lays these white eggs here. They're absolutely delicious. Can't believe how nice they are. We've got the five-way cast iron, the lifter. So we'll be frying off the hash browns and sausages and then we'll be making the scrambled eggs after that. Got some cream and butter for that. Some matches. Uh, what else here? Trangio will fill up just now. And that's good to go. Right, we've got sausages, mushrooms, and hash browns in there. I'm going to put this plate in here for the alcohol burner to, to rest on. That's nice and easy, that actually. Right, alcohol's on now, the fuel's uh, burning, so we'll get to cooking. So this is my ferro rod. Uh, bring it just in case I forget the matches, and actually I've just discovered I can use my fire stick from the firebox and actually get a spark from it, so good for emergencies. Fantastic, we're just starting to get up that bit of heat now. I've just put this windshield up, but it's not really that windy, but it does come and go. Beautiful time of year here in Scotland. So while that's just cooking, we'll get some cream in here. Uh, I don't normally have my scrambled eggs with cream, I just milk, and I don't have it with butter, but for the sakes of the video, I was trying to do some nice, rich, decadent kind of scrambled eggs, uh, but one-handed, without my camera now, that'll do. So once that's mostly cooked, the, the uh, sausages and all that, I'll then go and uh, do the scrambled eggs and then we'll just put that back on just to get the heat through and then we'll plate up and have some breakfast. So we'll just turn the hash browns. I actually stopped at the supermarket on the way here and so they are all, everything, the mushrooms and the, uh, sorry, the uh, sausages and the hash browns are a bit frozen. I think these were red onion and rosemary. Uh, who knows what else? <laughs> 
But it's starting to go now, starting to go good too. Always when I'm about, I'm always eyeing up places where I could do a potential camp. I do have camping trips in mind. Uh, it's been a busy summer, so now that we're into autumn and getting into winter, there'll be more time. And I do prefer it, to be honest. I like the, I like a hard camp uh, in terms of cold and misery for some people, but for me, it's it's perfect. It's been, we come camp right out here now, it's no problem. But uh, yeah, I don't know anything about this land. But plenty of places to camp, for sure. So we're just cooking right there. Perfect. Beautiful. So we'll take that off now. That's all cooked. And then, uh, well, I need to figure out where to lay this down somewhere. It'll be all right down here. Oh, here we are, this will do. Let's chuck it there. And we'll get the eggs on. Okay. Let's let that melt. Get the eggs cracked and in. And get these delicious scrambled eggs on the go. Fantastic. So the slower you cook your scrambled eggs, the more silky and soft they come out. And it's easier to clean the pan as well. But I'm, I'm really just going to stick to that one heat. So I might need to take the skillet off if it's getting too ferocious we'll see but it's not too bad actually so butter's nearly melted i can't film myself cracking the eggs as i like to do <laughs> i'll have to just turn the camera off there but we'll get these on get the uh get the 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 hash brown sausages and mushrooms reheated and we'll have breakfast so when you come out into the wilds there's always resources so i like to clean my hands after i've handled eggs or or meat. This moss is perfect. It's really good for, for cleaning. It does the job wonderfully. Okay, uh, well actually I'm right-handed. I just took the, the eggs off for a sec just to get some control. I put four in. I, I've gone brave today. But look how much it can hold. These skillet pans are awesome. So yeah, that looks super rich, doesn't it really? But I'll get that back on the heat. I just uh, doing various different things. I don't want to not concentrate on what I'm doing. I've only got one chance. What's this? A little bit of moss probably from my hand. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> a little bit of salt. This is with my left hand now, so I've got a good control. There we go. I think I'm just going to keep stirring and stirring and stirring, and then when they're about 90% cooked, I'll take them off because that cast iron will stay hot. In fact, probably 80% cooked. Uh, take them off and I'll put the other food back on so these should still be cooking just while we're we're waiting on the other food reheating and that's already starting to scramble there very easy to make scrambled eggs and I do love them one of my favorite foods so these for me are about 80% done so that's time now that's actually not bad at all we're gonna take that off and that's that quickly get the uh, the other food back on and as well yep there's just enough fuel to reheat this and then that's going to be it can you see sorry yep good and uh, we'll keep stirring the eggs here just while they finish cooking off look it's just not burnt at all how easy is that going to be to clean afterwards and that's really good that's uh yeah nice and easy but look at that look at the color of that this is going to be divine it really is whoop that's my hand there see how they're just still cooking Plus the cast iron will just keep that warm while we're cook, uh, reheating that food. Whoops. <laughs> Don't want to waste any. Oh, gosh. Watch that damn finger. Uh, these are heating up nicely. I think I'm just going to eat straight out of the cast iron, to be honest. What's the point to play it up here? It's almost a perfect serving uh, platter, isn't it, really? The old one-hand cooking. 
Look at this, it's just finished up nice, really nice. I promise you these are going to be so tasty with the cream, the butter, well seasoned and really good farm shop eggs make all the difference. Let's have a little taste, I think. Oh, <laughs> There we go. Grab this fork. Oh gosh, I'll put it underneath the skillet. There we go. So I've just had a wee nibble of these eggs. They are delicious. That's nearly done that. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, it'll be fine. Look at this. Look at the way this just keeps cooking now. Take it out. Nice hot meal. Mmm, fancy a mushroom with that egg actually. Wow, <laughs> that is really nice. As I say, I, I just had my scrambled eggs with milk, but this is just so nice. Very, very naughty. Let's try a sausage. These, well, we'll taste it. That's all right. Mm, not like a real sausage, but it'll do for today. The hash browns are good. Just lovely. I put that out. But that's pretty good for this amount of food. I do wish I had real sausages, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but it is the vegetarian month, so we'll stick to it. It's just nice to set challenges. I really love this setup, actually. The... The plate that you can put in there to hold the alcohol burn is really handy. You can have it at different heights. Thing is, sometimes I put it between the, the fire sticks and that holds them up, but this one's quite a fat one, so uh, that was really handy, really useful. The cast iron here, I mean, look at it. This meal is just still warm, even though I've just been slowly going through it. Wow. But yeah, <laughs> found that in the bag, so thought I'd use it. Well, fantastic breakfast. I mean, gee, I think I ate a bit too much there. I'm really full. It's very heavy as well with the cream. Liking it out here. The mist is starting to come in now. It's just gloomy. I like it. The colors are amazing. Maybe not picked up on the phone, but they're very vibrant. And as you can see, the little pine tree there, I'm just resting the phone in that. So, yeah. Mm. Ah, that was a great cook, guys. Say. Um, didn't go to plan at all with the camera, but uh, in terms of the meal, fantastic, so brilliant. So I'm just going to have a little poke about here uh, for another time, to have a look and see what's about, if there's any walks. But uh, yeah, hopefully this turns out okay, can't guarantee it, but never mind. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again. Cheers.